Hello everybody, this is Charlie. Uh, today I'm going to talk about uh, our application, especially regarding the water brain side of things, which is our automatic ECPH monitor system. First, we have to assume that you have already installed your kit and paired your kit. If you didn't, you can check out our uh, YouTube channel where you will see this gui the guide for the first connection. So here we are on our phone and we'll launch the application and we'll find our modules. So right here we have a several, several of them. Uh, we are going to connect on the one uh, which is called OC1 on the bottom left. And this is one of our kit we have in test. Uh, you can see in here it's not in English. I will put it in English so that everybody understands. Okay, let's get back. So uh, this kit is unconnected to anything, so don't worry about uh, any data you see on it. Uh, it's just uh, random data. And so uh, on the, this page, this main page, you will have several things. Um, the first part will be the part with the EC and pH at the top. So you have the EC and the uh, uh, pH readings and below that you have the targets. The targets are the targets you've set to reach for EC and pH. Above that you've got um, an indicator uh, which has a translation issue at the moment that will be solved very quickly. Um, and this indicator tells you if the auto dosing is off or on right now. So when you click on EC, you will go directly into the sub-menu sub for EC. Into this view, you will have uh, several things. You will have your reading at the top. You will have the ability uh, to turn on or off the automatic dosage system. You will have the ability to um, get into... So you can turn it on or off just by toggling the switch. And each time you have a confirmation, tell you that okay, I've got, I've saved uh, the new setting. Uh, you can calibrate your sensor. So when you click on calibration, you will reach this calibration procedure slash tutorial where we guide you with some text and picture along the way. So uh, here we have an EC of 1.8 uh, reading. Uh, again, it's only random data for this demo. And we have just below our EC target. Our EC target is at 1.7 at the moment. If you want to change it, you click on the box and you can replace the value with the new one you want. So it can be lower one or higher one. Below that, you have your graph. Uh, which is um, your uh, graphic data either for seven days or for 15 days or for a whole month. When you click on it, uh, the product may take some time to refresh. And so during that time, uh, you should just wait for it to load the data uh, to avoid any issue. Once you want to come back into uh, another menu, you click on quit. And it's exactly the same for pH. You go in pH, you've got your reading, you've got the ability to turn on the auto dosing, uh, the calibration assistant, and also uh, the ability to enter uh, pH targets. At the, below that, you have the charts and the same kind of settings. So what we try to do here is really to have a uniform um, graphical interface, meaning that when you go uh, in every kind of data tile, uh, you will have the, the same uh, basic layout. So if I go into water, this is water temperature, uh, we have the reading at the top and we have the chart yeah. down below. Um, and it will be the same for all those menus. This is air temperature and this is humidity um, and only the light will be a little bit different, but it doesn't matter for now. Uh, at the top, uh, we are implementing also uh, the notification system uh, with, um, for, with new updates coming. 
So within this notification system, you will have notifications appear when something happens uh, in your system and when you have to act uh, regarding um, readings happening or uh, any action you have to make, basically. So that's basically it for uh, the water brain. You see, this is quite simple. Um, if you got any questions, you can contact us. And for the next video, we will talk about the water pump view. Talk to you soon. Bye.